James from Bolt Bros here. Just doing a quick live. Once again, breaking news. We have signed Trey Pipkins to an extension. Awesome. Love to see it. Let's talk a little bit about it right now, guys, just so we can have a little bit of a breakdown in the knowledge that we do have on the contract. So let's chat about that, guys. Bolt Bros, let's go. All right, like I said, Charger sign, Trey Pipkins to a three-year extension. The beautiful thing about this whole extension and solidifying that right side, if you've been a Chargers fan for a long time, you understand kind of what this is all about. And you understand how major this is for this O-line. I mean, goodness gracious. Sam Tevy. I mean, we could go down. Storm Norton, all these guys that we've had at the right tackle. I mean, has just been a disaster for us for some years. So it's major to be able to have this guy back. And a three-year extension is solid for us to be able to have him on the right side. For Justin Herbert, protect him. It's actually kind of interesting that we did sign a three-year extension with him because I felt like we're kind of in this position of trying to just do two-year base contracts. So big move for us all around. I've been a big fan of Trey Pipkins, and especially – battling through all those injuries that he had too. Um, he did have a lot of knee issues throughout the season, still battled through it. He knew it was contract year, working out with Slater in the in the offseason of last year and really making sure, and I think it was working with Mayweather during that time too, the, the legendary coach that works with a lot of O-line guys. He has came together and done a very, very good season. So very much congratulations, Trey Pipkins, on getting your deal. It looks like it's... Per Adam Kaplan, 7.25 mil per season. So pretty big. It's interesting how they say extension when he is not in contract. I think he might be restricted at some level, but I'm unsure a little bit of how that works. But 7.25 mil per season. If you started seeing some of these right tackles that have been signed so far this, this year, you know, and in this offseason, I should say specifically, it's been really, really big, big base contracts that they've been signing. So, um, Wow, big move, 7.25 mil for Trey Pipkin. So once again, he battled against Storm Norton, beat him pretty easily. <laughs> I'll say that Duke Mayweather Mayweather was the big beneficiary for him to get him in the right mindset. It's crazy to think about Trey Pipkins when he got drafted. He was stunned that he got picked, I believe, in the third round. He wasn't even paying attention to the draft at that time um, and ended up getting a call. Uh, back in 2019, just driving around on the streets and look at how he is now. He is currently the right tackle for the Chargers and uh, looks very, very capable for us. I'm just glad that we have a guy on the right side now, a stable right side guy. Uh, I, I have nightmares of Storm Norton of the 2021 Raiders Week 18 game of how many pressures that guy gave up. It is ridiculous, man. Ridiculous, man. But Going to be kind of a short video, guys. We just want to throw out the information out there and everything, too. Um, once again, Trey Pipkin signed three-year contract on the right tackle. Big thing for us. You know, one thing just emphasizing once again, he battled through an MCL spring through the season since week five and played at a high level throughout that time. Still went through the entire season for the most part. Only allowed two sacks on 586 pass block attempts and also very solid on the run blocking side for us so love to see it guys um you know what my thoughts is too there's got to be some more moves coming around because we did sign obviously eric kendricks and now even trey pipkins we don't have a whole heck of a lot of salary cap all around guys so there's got to be some other moves coming around here uh that should be coming up here shortly i over the cap right now has not shown the updated um i'm going to pull it up right now for you the updated salary cap situation but we are currently at about 18 million tap cap space. I don't think Eric Kendrick's contract has hit there yet. I heard it's roughly about five, four to five million cap hit this year. Um, so give or take minus that. We still have a rookie class that we got to sign. Once again, it doesn't really sign. These players that are signing right now don't really get signed until about the 15th. So tomorrow, things could still shift for us. I know that Gerald Everett even kind of put some sort of kind of cryptic tweet out there, almost made it sound like he was getting like, let go. Matt Filer is another guy too, that we could get about 6.5 million to if we let him go, who knows? 
there's still room to be made and and ways to be able to create more cap space all around but keeping on subject here guys trey pipkins is our right tackle i love seeing it i love seeing the continuity i love what he did last year and how he was able to grow from where he was to what he was last year so excited to be able to see that love to see the continuity all around with this team and to be able to keep this offensive line going all around so it's one less guy that we got to deal with in position that we got to deal with in the draft so we could really focus on other needs on this team so love it guys hey i know this is just a quick live love you guys jumping in here and everything too let's keep it going love hearing everything too the eckler situation I think could get real spicy here too, guys. So I know I did a video on that earlier and everything too. So all around guys, hey, if we get a tight end too, like once again, my guy, uh, Darnell Washington from Georgia, if you drafted him, that just adds a whole nother big body on the right side and a great blocker all around. A guy that we can move left and right. Slater is going to be locked down on his side. He doesn't care to have any sort of help. If you put Darnell Washington on the right, that'll be a, tough tough right side to be able to work with and really help open up this run game all around so anyways guys just want to just bring out the news trey pip trey pipkins is back with the chargers for three more years i i've always said pipkins ain't easy so that i've thrown that out there many times pipkins ain't easy and uh i'm excited for him being back with this Chargers. so let's keep it going guys let us know what your guys' thoughts are and everything too robert I think it's great to say that you got, if we go tight end wide receiver with that first pick, but once again, if Eckler does come through with a trade or if there is some trade that happens, we could really, really stack this team up pretty good with a lot of, a lot of youth all around. So I'm excited about it. So anyways, guys, let's keep it going, guys. Appreciate y'all. Bolt bros. Let's go.